Hi everyone, YouTube viewers, and oh, hello people. In this video, I'm going to show you how to pilot three channel helicopters. Now, these are much made by professional company manufacturers like Walkira or E Flight or Sector Sky, something like that, unfortunately. They're, they're made pretty much just by cheapy companies and they're kind of easy to fly for beginners. For experts, I recommend a four channel helicopter just to not lose the ability to fly those. How to identify these? Three channel helicopters are always coaxial, which means they have two blades, one top of another, always. And they have a tiny little tail rotor over here. Only these helicopters are three channel. For example, wait, wait a minute. Look at this Apache here. It's a four channel helicopter, which means you, well, it's coaxial and everything, but it doesn't have a tail rotor, which means it's four channel. It has this tail rotor, but it's not a real tail rotor, it's fake tail rotor. It doesn't spin. It's a four channel helicopter. You can also see the swash plate here. This great thing is the swash plate. So I'll show you how to fly them. So here's how you fly them. Well, first, always turn on first the 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 transmitter, sorry. Always turn it on. You have to push the throttle up, then push it down again. The LED will steady. Now, if it's flashing, even though when you have pushed the throttle up or down, it means the batteries of the control are, are weared out. They're wasted, so the control won't work properly and eventually it won't charge the helicopter. These helicopters are charged from the remote control, which is not something, something I like much. So fire up our helicopter. You have to wait a bit for it to actually catch the signal that the remote is sending. It's an effort signal. You won't find any antennas on three channel helicopters. So I guess it's working now. Oh yeah, it's working. So basically here's the control. Here are the controls. This one here is a throttle. With this one you go up and down. It's generally this one. It's not controls, it's this one. The controls will be inverted. But in most controls, it's this one over here. So with this one, you go up and down. J basically up and down. You, you may require some practice learning to handle this. This one, I don't know how it's called, actually. But this one, with this one, you turn. You make the helicopter turn like this, with this one. And with this one, when we move it front or back, it makes the helicopter move front or back. These helicopters can only move front and backwards. They can't move side to side. Four channel helicopters can do this, but three channel can't. Show you how to fly. Okay, I'm gonna fly. I don't know if you can see the remote here, maybe you can, so you can see actually move it forward and the helicopter moves forward, same thing backwards. There's how to fly three channel helicopters. Now there are other things you might need to master too, for example, control. Some helicopters are very difficult to pilot and one of these is this one is very difficult to pilot and that's basically because of the response time when you fly it when you move it forward and most helicopters it won't respond immediately slow it will have a small delay in the response but that can mean a lot that can mean a crash this helicopter I, i've crashed it much and it's not working properly now i'll eventually make a, a video how to pilot a four channel helicopter now <coughs> <coughs> now my Apache here, it's damaged. I don't know why it's damaged, but it always starts spinning, and I can't seem to trim it. So it's damaged, and I don't. I won't fly it. I don't want to crash it. I don't want to damage it more than it's already damaged. And to fix it, it's kind of expensive. So I'll make a video maybe July 17th when I get my four-channel helicopter, which is what I'm asking for my birthday. So, 
There you have it. Now, there's another thing you need to know. How to trim these helicopters. Now, you could see in the video, even though when I wasn't moving this, I think this is called yaw, I think, which is to make it turn like this. When you were moving this, and I, was, I wasn't moving this, the helicopter was anyway spinning. That's because it's not trimmed properly. So I'm gonna ha go ahead and put the camera on the ground and show you what happens if your helicopter is not trimmed. Okay, it's on the ground now. Oh wait. Ah, there we go. That's my shot. So I'm gonna turn on the transmitter. Go up, down. There it is. Helicopter on. Now you can see. Even though I'm not moving this, and I fire the helicopter, well, it didn't spin much there, so I'm gonna, on purpose, untrim it. There are two buttons here. This is the trim. If I start moving, pressing this a lot, you'll see a change. So when I try to fly, even though I'm not moving this, you can see how the helicopter turns a lot. And the helicopter is doing it because I untrimmed it. So if I move this, the helicopter will stop spinning. But the point is not I have to leave my finger there so it doesn't spin. So the way you do this is that when you find your helicopter and you see it spins, you start pressing the other button repeatedly until it stops spinning. So. When it stops spinning, is that your helicopter's trim and it should only spin when you turn this over here. But just that, if it doesn't, it's untrimmed. Now this, these helicopters, cheap helicopters, have two different ways to trim it. This one is digital, which means you just press a button repeatedly. But for example, others are analog, so they have like a little potentiometer here, like a little wheel, and you turn that to trim it. That's not as precise as digital ones, that's why I prefer digital ones. They're not as precise, so... Anyway, thanks for watching!